In this tutorial, I'll be showing you several ways you can um, render an image. In other words, um, I will show you several ways you can cut out a picture or like a part of an image from the background. So let's say I want to um, cut the background from this image, I just want the person. So there's several ways you can do this. Now if, um, let's say for example, I have um, so this is what we, we will be doing. We'll just give it a transparent background or whatever. Now let's say your image um, has a solid colored background like this. As you can tell, it's just one solid color. It's just black. <clears throat> and um, this will only work if the background is one color and then the render or whatever you're cutting out is a different color from the background. You can just use your fuzzy select tool or your magic wand and there's several options you can choose. If you want you can feather the edges which will um, give the edges kind of a blur. Um, just select the, um, the color, the background. Now, um, now you can either just erase it or so now you can just erase it if you want. Or you can go to select, invert, and now you can just copy and copy the image or the selection and then paste it into whatever you're working on. So that's one way, but that only works if you have a solid colored background. Now if you don't have a solid colored background like this, it's multiple colors, um, you can use your um, scissor select tool and what these do you just put, um, you just click on the border of the image. And what this will do, it will automatically um, cling to the colors. If you can tell, like, if I put it over. And let's say it goes off over here and it made a mistake, you can just drag it over here. and it kind of can tell the difference of the colors so it kind of does some of your work for you and you can just do this and then once you're done cutting out your image just press enter and that should create the selection now um, the next tool I'll be showing you is the foreground select tool I like using this tool the most um, it's really easy to use and so first off when you first use the tool it will just um, what you're going to want to do is just draw a rough outline around the object you want to extract then after you're done with that it will automatically go to this and now you're going to want to mark um, just using the tool that it gives you just kind of paint over just kind of paint over the um, the parts that you want to keep and as you can tell it automatically um, kind of detects what you're wanting to do and if you didn't get it right you can just always add more strokes as you can tell like it and over here in your um, dialog box you can change the brush size to like a large brush or a smaller brush and you can change it so that you're marking the background instead of the foreground. Now, um, the blue, the bluish purple part is the part that it will, um, or actually the part that there's no bluish stuff, it will create a selection around that. So once you're done, just press enter. And as you can tell, it created a selection around that. And I can just go to select, invert, and then I can just get my paintbrush tool and erase the background. So that's another way you can do that. Um, and the last way I'm going to show you to cut out, or actually the second to last way I'm going to show you how you can cut out an image is with the paths tool. Um, a lot of people use the paths tool to cut out images. And what the paths tool does, you can, it's kind of like the scissor select tool except it does 
not. Um, you can curve it by dragging and pulling. I'm not very good with a pass tool, so I don't use it that much. And you can just pretty much do the same thing. And once you're done uh, cutting out the image, uh, drawing a, a path around the image, just press enter and that will create a selection. And now the last way I'll be showing you is to go to your layers dialog, which you can find under Windows, Dockable Dialogs, Layers. Now when you're now right click on the layer where um, your render is and just select add layer mask um, and just select white full opacity. Now when you're on your now just get your paintbrush tool and have the color set as black. Now just paint around this is kind of like the eraser tool but it works in a different way. So now let's say now you can just kind of uh, make sure your color is black, your foreground color is black, and you're just using the paintbrush tool and you can just kind of erase the stuff you don't want. Now let's say you made a mistake like this, alright, and you want to keep part of that. Now with the eraser tool, you couldn't just go back and fix it. But with the layer mask, you can. Just change your color back to white, change your foreground color to white, and just paint the part you want to keep. and you can undo your mistakes like that. And once you're done um, getting rid of the background, just right click on the layer again and select apply layer mask and then there you go. and that will apply the layer mask. Actually I have one more way I'm going to show you how to extract the um, image from the background. Down here in the, what is this, the left the bottom left corner of your GIMP screen, there is a toggle quick mask button. It's just this little square. Just press that, or you can press Shift Q. Now, once you press that, as you can tell, it creates this kind of red tinting over it. What you're going to want to do is using your paintbrush tool or your eraser tool and just kind of erase the. Um, red part. So if I had time I'd do this, but what you're going to want to do is erase the red part. This um, is a pretty tedious way and I wouldn't really recommend using this way unless you really want to. And once you're done, once you're done painting, now uh, the part you're going to want to paint is you can either do the background, you can either paint away the background or you can paint away at your um, render. So I'm just choosing to paint away at my render part. And let's say I'm done. Just repress the toggle quick mask button. Now as you can tell it created a selection around the part I painted. So if there, so if it was clear, if the part was not tinted with red, that is what it created, created a selection around. So those are all the ways you can extract a picture from its background.